Hi, this is uh, Mayor Gary Sulls. I'm here with our Director of Development Services, Marianne Wade, and we want to talk today a little bit about the budget process and how it relates to the OCP and our zoning uh, bylaws. So, Marianne, anything that you want to tell our community in relation to some of the things that we've already got on the budget that's uh, being consulted with the public? Sure, that'd be great. Thanks, Your Worship. Um, it's a great opportunity that we can talk to the community about the OCP process. Um, in regards to the OCP, I think it's important for the community to know that it's a visionary document that guides our zoning bylaw. So it's really critical for us that we are moving forward and it is a council's priority to get the OCP updated so that we can inform our zoning bylaws. Um, as part of the OCP process and the budget, um, council has been um, in discussion with us about the workload and what we have to do in regards to updating our OCP and also uh, updating our zoning bylaw. And one thing that we've been able to put forward as part of the budget is looking at funds that will go over um, this year, which is 2020 right. and 2021, so that we can have the appropriate funds to update the OCP and consult the community. Um, and then following that, we also have updated the funds, as you will be aware, the previous funding for 2019 for the zoning bylaw was 15,000, which we knew was not adequate enough to actually right. do all the cool. considerations um, that we need to do with the zoning bylaw. So um, we're looking at updating that to 135,000 and another 50,000 so we can stagger the zoning update in relation to the OCP, because we want to get those um, OCP amendments forward so they can inform the zoning bylaw. We are aware that there's necessary zoning bylaw amendments that have to be done that we need to address that um, had not been covered uh, from the 2009 um, OCP updates. Right. And so we're trying to deal with that, but we're also very aware we need to be in touch and communicate with the community on the engagement and the vision. And one of the things, of course, is the vision update well so we've got the visioning update kind of completed as the community has seen and now we write that into the OCP as to what the community feels is best for their community and then when we're dealing with uh, the OCP all land use issues zoning all those sorts of things will come in play with the OCP that's correct your worship yes and then, so my vision of uh, the OCP is like a living document. That will continue on, it will morph, it will change as the community sees needs to be changed. So updating it is essential to bring it up to today's standards, bringing the zoning up to, to what we need to do for today in consultation with our neighborhood planning and any other land use issues. So some things that are coming to the forefront now is uh, uh, environmentally sensitive areas, zoning for those, and we don't have a zone for that, so we need to kind of work on those things. And then there's other things that are coming forward dealing with things like dog parks. All those are fitting into the OCP because it's a land use project, correct? That's correct, Your Worship, and we will look at things in segments uh, through the OCP, so things like environmentally sensitive land. In the 2009 um, OCP, there was discussions about what we needed to do with environmental sensitive, sensitive mapping. And one of the things that has been highlighted in the OCP of that time was a recommendation we need to do further environmental sensitive mapping. And as you're aware, as part of the operational budget discussion that we had with this department, we highlighted the need to do environmental management uh, strategy and assessment, which is a follow-up to what was outlined in the OCP in 2009. And that is in our budget, and it is highlighted right now to go in 2022. Uh, I think we have about $20,000 allocated for that. But um, further to your point about the neighborhood plans, we are looking at environmental sensitive uh, mapping at a finer detail for Johnson Heights, for example, as we embark on that. So as we go through the neighborhood planning processes, um, we'll be able to identify some of the environmental sensitive mapping, which was outlined in 2009. So this budget actually supports those uh, original recommendations in the OCP. And it takes time, as you know. 
And so we're finally to that point, putting these things into uh, our work plans. It's done through our budgeting process. We've got some of these things nailed down as far as what costs are gonna go. And as we move forward, we'll get into those work plans and we'll deal with these issues that the community members are bringing forward. That's correct. Great. And I think the other thing to note is in this, um, this budget, we have also identified the need uh, to look at this again in five years from now. So we're on a regular planning cycle, no pun intended, right. uh, that uh, we have that money put aside. So every five years, we can go back to the OCP, do the amendments, engage with our community, and then also do, we have money in there now for the zoning bylaw to do those amendments as well. So now we have a robust planning budget and cycle for the budget so that we can deal with things that are in line in the Local Government Act. So um, we're in a much better position as far as uh, we won't have these big gaps in this kind of thing. Perfect, and that's kind of what I mean when we're talking about a living document, is this is gonna continue on, it will morph, we'll bring it through, we'll do the amendments, and we'll move forward and this will be a continuous process as we move along. That's correct. Uh, an OCP is a living document and that's why the local government asks that every under the local government act that we actually look at it every five years and now we've set that up in our planning cycle and our budget cycle which is really great because then we have clear direction on how we do our work here. Perfect. Well thanks Marianne. I appreciate you taking the time to kind of explain some of the process as we move forward. Well thanks thank you very time. much Your Worship. Thank you. Awesome.